Relief tonight for a Norwalk family. Police make an arrest in a deadly crash, and we have also learned it is the suspect's second arrest this week. News Tough Connecticut's Marissa Alter reports. Remnants of a memorial mark the spot on Martin Luther King Drive where 19-year-old Oscar Valdivinos was killed in what Norwalk police call a high-speed drunk driving crash. He was very funny. He was very loving. He always made sure everybody was okay. <sighs> the crash happened November 27th around 8 in the morning. Now, police have arrested the driver, 25-year-old Erlace Aguilera. The victim's family was in court for his arraignment and said it's the first step in getting justice. It helps a lot because it's going to give our family closure. Aguilera is charged with manslaughter, assault with a motor vehicle, operating under the influence, and reckless driving. He allegedly had been up all night drinking and smoking pot when he got behind the wheel of his truck with three passengers, including Valdivinos, to get food. In court, the prosecutor said Aguilera pushed the gas pedal to the floor and reached speeds over 110 miles per hour. The defendant failed to navigate a turn. The vehicle went airborne, struck a barrier, and the entire right side of the vehicle was sheared off. Valdivinos was ejected and immediately died. Another passenger fractured both femurs, while Aguilera suffered a cut to his head that needed staples. Court documents show his blood alcohol level was almost twice the legal limit. This behavior in and of itself is enough to show that he's a danger to the community, but despite what happened that day, Your Honor, the defendant picked up another DUI on December 25th of this year. Attorney Michael Corsello said that came after Aguilera visited the victim's grave site on Christmas Day, adding his client has been very much affected by what happened. Corsello told the court Aguilera has a wife and two kids and served four years active duty in the military before being discharged for PTSD. Maria Valdivino said her brother only recently met Aguilera and didn't know him well. She was appalled to learn of the additional arrest. No remorse whatsoever, and he obviously did not care, and he still drove drunk after everything. That's crazy to me, honestly. In Norwalk, Marissa Alter, News 12, Connecticut. The judge kept bond at $750,000 despite arguments from his attorney to lower bond and put his client on home confinement. Connecticut.